Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I haven't really done a video like this before, but I thought it would be a fun way to switch things up. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what your house in Bloxburg says about you. Before I get started, please keep in mind that this video is for entertainment purposes only and isn't meant to offend anyone. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. So first is the starter house. If you have this starter house or a renovated version of it, chances are you're fairly new to the game and haven't really had any experience when it comes to building in Bloxburg. You probably don't think about building too much and focus on other aspects of the game instead, such as exploring. Next is any of the other pre-made houses, not including the starter house. If you have a pre-made house other than the starter house, you're probably still somewhat new to the game, but have a bit more experience than a new player would. Chances are you haven't built that much yet and bought a pre-built house you liked instead of making your own. Next is if you have no house or a mood station instead. If you don't have an actual house at the moment or have something like a mood station with just the essentials instead, you're probably saving up your money to build a house. You're likely more focused on working and grinding money than building at the moment, but you hope to build a good house once you save up enough money. Next is a rebuilt house from YouTube. The house I'm touring is actually by my friend Kachunky, so credits go to her. Anyway, if you have a house rebuilt or copied from a YouTube tutorial, you probably have some sort of experience with building in Bloxburg and have spent quite a bit of your time building. Chances are, you watch a lot of Bloxburg YouTubers, especially speed builders, and have likely rebuilt other houses from YouTube tutorials in the past. Building probably isn't your favorite thing to do, but you have a bit of interest in it. Next is a neon house and or a large box house. So if you have a neon house or a large box house, then you probably just started building houses of your own in Bloxburg. You likely aren't very experienced with build mode yet and are still learning about things. Building can be really difficult and sometimes stressful when you just start, so you probably don't take that much time to build that often. Next is a gray and white house. If you have a house that's mostly gray and white, you probably have some decent experience with building in Bloxburg, but not quite a ton. Overall, you can build what people will consider a pretty decent house and have spent a fair amount of your time playing Bloxburg building. Next is an aesthetic house. If you have a quote-unquote aesthetic house with things like pastel or soft colors, warm lights, and lots of plants, you're probably pretty experienced with building and partake in a lot of popular Bloxburg building trends, especially the aesthetic ones. Chances are you also take inspiration from a lot of Bloxburg YouTubers for your builds. All in all, you enjoy building in Bloxburg a lot and take some time to build things often. Last is a mansion. If you have a really large house or a mansion in Bloxburg, you've probably spent a lot of your time playing Bloxburg and working for money. You've likely been playing Bloxburg for at least a year. Over time, you've probably gotten a lot of money and would be considered rich by most of the Bloxburg player base. Overall, you've gotten to be pretty experienced with building. You put a lot of effort into working and building and take a lot of pride in your creations. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed or found this entertaining. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more. As always, my social medias are in the description if you want to check them out as well. With that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.